Okay, averages from a table. Um, usually they ask you to look at the mean from a table. They can also ask for the median and the mode as well. Okay, now in this case here, we've got um, school fair, 32 people each paid three pounds to choose a sealed envelope from a bag. Each envelope contained a shopping voucher. So the table below shows the number of each type of voucher in the bag. So you've got one pound vouchers. There were 15 of those envelopes with one pound vouchers in. And you've got 10 envelopes with uh, two pound vouchers in. You've got five envelopes with five pounds. And then you've got two lucky envelopes with 10 pound vouchers in. It says down here, then the person in charge of the stall was asked, was what was the average value of the sh of the vouchers? Okay. Um, I suppose they want to see if they're getting the, if they're being ripped off, or if they if they're getting a good deal here. So she replied, um, "Are you asking for the mode, the median, or the mean value?" Okay. So clearly that these three values are different. So there are three types of averages: mode, median, and mean. Now from here, the quickest one to work out is the mode. Okay. Um, the mode is the one that um, occurs the most. Mode means most. So if you look here, obviously that one there, 15, okay, that's uh, the one, uh, the one pound voucher um, comes up the most with 15 of them. Okay, so the mode would be one pound, right, because there's 15 of them. Okay, that's the, that's the one that comes up the most. Um, then you've got the median. Remember the median is the middle one, okay. And you have to be careful here to get the middle one Remember now in the question, it says that 32 people, okay, so the middle one would be about the 16th person, if you think about it, 32, halfway is about 16. Now in this first group here, you've, you've got 15, okay, so we haven't quite got to the 16th one. The 16th one will clearly be in that group there, okay, so two pounds, two pounds will be the median. Okay, the median will equal two pounds. Then um, the mean, obviously there's a bit more work involved here. If you think about it, you've got 15 um, lots of one pounds. That, you know, that's like doing one plus one plus one 15 times. You know, in the same year, you've got 10 lots of two pounds. That's like doing two pounds plus two pounds 10 times. Now it would be silly to do that. So what we'll do is we'll multiply them. Okay, 15 lots of one. Okay, so I'll write that down here. 15 times one plus then got 10 lots of 2 okay so 10 times 2 plus 5 lots of 5 pounds plus then 2 lots of 10 pounds okay and of course when you work out the mean right the idea is you add up all the values that are there but don't forget you have to divide as well and by how many are there okay now in terms of how many are there Please be careful here, right? You might think, oh, okay, there's not that many there, but actually, we've got to take into account all of the vouchers, okay? So there's 32, isn't there? You can add these up. It does tell you in the question, but you can add them up as well when it comes to 32. So you work up the top, um, 15 plus, 10, tw plus 20, um, plus 25, um, plus 20, all over 32. Okay, so then you add these at the top. You can use a calculator, use this as a calculator uh, paper. Um, so that comes to 80 on the top. Divide them by 32. Okay, so you can work that out in your calculator. It comes to 2.5. Okay, so 2.5. So, um, of course, because we're talking about money, um, that would relate to £2.50 for the mean. Okay, so you need to say that we actually calculated the mean. So that's the mean. So that's what we mean by three different types of average. Second question, um, mean from a table. Um, here, you see that we've got um, a, a range of values. Okay, um, these are grouped values. Okay, so they're often called um, a class. So this class represents the rainfall between 4.5 and 5.5. And there were four days, okay, where the rainfall was between these values. And then you had two days where the rainfall was between 5.5 and 6.5. Now it says underneath, calculate an estimate for the mean daily rainfall for the 10 days. It will be an estimate, don't forget. 
okay it, you can't get um, you can't work out an exact um, uh, mean for this because we don't actually know the rainfall for each of those days we just know that there were four days where the rainfall was between these values so we don't know the exact values what you need to do is just to choose a value that represents that group and you have to choose the one in the middle okay so in the middle there of course would be five in the middle there would be six seven and then uh, that one's eight that one's nine so you've got four days and typically each of those days was five millimeters of rainfall so when you look at the mean you need to times these just like before four times five plus two times six plus zero times seven plus two times eight plus two times nine you then divide once you've added all them up you divide by how many are there and of course it's how many days okay the mean daily rainfall you want so how many days add them up it comes to 10. so you work up the top you can use your calculator here um that's zero of course so using your calculator 20 plus 12 plus 16 plus 18 66 divided by 10, which of course would be 6.6 .6 millimeters. That was that's the average daily rainfall. My advice to you as well is always always check. You know, is that answer sensible? Is it a sensible answer? And I think it is because 6.6 .6 falls neatly in here. Um, it says then state the modal class. Now modal, right, sounds very much like mode. Okay. And they often use that word instead, modal, okay, especially when it comes to tables. So we're looking for the mode group. Now, clearly, if you look carefully, you can see that that, that obviously is the most popular there, four days. This is the modal group, okay? Right? Now, it does say class, remember? Okay, so um, you need to write down the whole of that class, okay? So just copy it. It's just between. Uh, 4.5 and 5.5, right? And it's important that you do write that down. Then it says the median class. Median class. Now remember, the median is the middle value, okay? Now, seeing as there are 10 values, the middle one will be the fifth one, okay? You know, it's halfway, of course. Now, we've got four there already, so we haven't quite got to the fifth one, but the fifth one will be there, won't it? Because that will take you up to six. The fifth one is in there, which you've got your group there, okay? So... It's the second group, and you need to, as I said, write it down exactly as you see it.